In this video, I'll show you how to boost your website speed and performance. We're gonna be using a plugin called Lightspeed Cache to do this. And because Jackrabbit uses Lightspeed servers, we are able to use this plugin. Now remember that if you're gonna be using this plugin that you turn off all other performance enhancing plugins or options. So for example, in Jetpack, make sure that the performance enhancing options are turned off. If you're not using automatic taxes in WooCommerce, then I suggest you disable Jetpack because that plugin may interfere with other plugins that you're using on this site. So with that being said, let's go ahead and install Lightspeed Cache. Go to Plugins and install a new plugin and search for Lightspeed, L-I-T-E-S-P-E-E-D. And the first plugin on the list should be Lightspeed Cache. Go ahead and install that and then activate it. And now if you look in the sidebar at the very bottom, you'll see a link to Lightspeed Cache. Go ahead and click on that. And that'll take you to your Lightspeed dashboard. I've got statistics here because I've actually installed Lightspeed earlier on the site. I went ahead and disabled it so I could show you this tutorial. But your dashboard should show nothing because um, Lightspeed has not gathered any data from your site yet. But your dashboard is going to show you an overview of your usage statistics here at the top. And then below that we have our performance data. So here you can see our page load time increased by 84% after installing the plugin. And then we, here we have a page speed score, which is not populated yet. We have an image optimization summary. This plugin will allow you to optimize your images so that your pages will load faster. And I'll show you how to do that. Here we have a cache status. We have a critical CSS status. We have a low quality image placeholder shortcut. And then we have a crawler status. I'm gonna walk you through a few settings. And before we jump into these settings, uh, out of the box, Lightspeed works really well. So if you don't have any problems on your website, then I suggest you do not tweak any of the settings. So I'll just try to go through the things that uh, you might want to know now. And if you want to learn more about this plugin later, you can do more research on your own. So here in the sidebar under Lightspeed Cache, I'm going to click on the general link. And if you'd like to automatically upgrade the plugin, you can turn this on. And then we need to request a domain key. So click on the button that says request domain key. And once you request the key, you're going to need to wait for approval. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can turn your notifications on or off. I'm going to leave mine off. And the domain key has not been approved yet, so I'm going to go ahead and continue showing you the settings while we wait for that. Over here in the sidebar under Lightspeed Cache, I'll click on Cache. And like I said, there are a ton of settings here. All of these default settings should work pretty well for your site. So if you're not experiencing any sort of caching issues or performance issues, then you can leave everything as default. Up here at the top, we have a few more settings that you can configure. We're going to skip these because we don't necessarily need to go into those. So the next thing we'll take a look at is the image optimization settings. So under Lightspeed Cache, click on image optimization. And the first thing we need to do here is gather image data. And here at the top, you can see that 109 images have been gathered successfully. After we gather our image data, we can send an optimization request. Okay, and it looks like it pushed one image to the server. So you can see that we only have 1% optimized and we need to request another 108 images. So I'm gonna click on this button one more time. Okay, and it says here that we need to wait another five minutes before we request another image. So for the first few images, it's only gonna pull one or two and then your limits will start getting higher and higher and you'll be able to request more images. So you can continue to send out optimization requests until all of the images on your site have been optimized. So the next thing we'll take a look at is page optimization. So under Lightspeed Cache, click on page optimization in the sidebar. And remember, if your site is fast and it's loading just fine the way it is, don't worry about changing any of these settings. Uh, but maybe if you're having a performance problem or if you are using a page speed tool and the tool is telling you that you need to optimize some settings, then you can come back here and start playing with these settings. But if you want to play with these settings, you need to be careful. Up here it says, please test thoroughly when enabling any option on this list. After changing minify combined settings, please do a purge all action. So I'll show you what that means. So we're going to go ahead and change one setting at a time. So I'm going to turn CSS minify on. I'm going to save my settings. And then while you're logged in to WordPress, here at the top you'll see a light speed icon. Click on that and choose the purge all option. When you click on purge all, that's gonna remove all the cache from your website. So now that all the cache has been purged, I'm going to right click and open up my store in a new tab. And I'm gonna make sure that everything loads fine. When I can see that my site has no problems loading, I'm gonna move on to the next setting. And you can continue to do each setting the same way. That way, in case one of these settings messes up your site, you're gonna know exactly which setting that was and you can switch it back right away. 
So we have settings for CSS, JavaScript. We have some optimization settings, which you can also tweak. Here we have some media settings. Lazy load images, you could turn this on if you'd like. What this means is that images will not load until they get close to the browser window. So if you have a big homepage, then the only images that are gonna load are the images that the person can see. When they start scrolling down, those images will be loaded as they're scrolling down. And that's called lazy loading. So you can turn this on if you'd like, and you can experiment with that. I think that's the only thing we really need to cover here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. And I'm gonna skip the rest of the settings at the top of the page. Next, we'll look at the database options. So under Lightspeed Cache, click on Database. And here we have the database optimizer. A lot of things that are left in your database uh, go unused. For example, you've got trashed posts, you've got post revisions, you've got auto drafts, you've got expired transients and transients that aren't used anymore. So in order to clean these up, all you need to do is click on the Clean All button here. And that's all you need to do. So if your site isn't performing well, you can come here and clean up your database to see if that was causing the problem. And then down here we have a database table converter, which you don't need to mess with. In the next tab at the top, we have database optimization settings. You can choose how many revisions you'd like to keep when you're cleaning your database. So for example, when you're creating a page on WordPress, uh, WordPress automatically creates revisions for these pages so that in case you don't like something you did to a page, you can go back to an earlier revision. So I suggest keeping at least two revisions. You can add that here if you'd like and revisions max age, you can change the length of time that a revision is kept. So like I said, if you're not running into any problems, don't tweak anything. If it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Lightspeed Cache is a very powerful tool. Um, don't use this in conjunction with any other caching tools or performance enhancing tools because that's when you're gonna run into problems. But by optimizing the performance of your website, this is going to help your Google rankings and give your users a better user experience.